I'm Peter Davis. I'm chief of the Galveston Island Beach Patrol. I grew up on the island and I love the ocean environment. People of all types are drawn here to recreate, to relax, and to rejuvenate. But to fully enjoy the magic this place has to offer, it's important that you understand what the dangers are and a few safety rules. Learn to swim and swim near a lifeguard. Professional lifeguards provide a layer of protection for you and your family, but ultimately, your safety is up to you. Have fun, but be safe. The Texas coast has its own unique set of conditions which greatly affect waves and water. Gently sloping beaches and warm water are seductive, but there's hidden dangers beneath the surface. Understanding the environment is the key to being safe while having a great day. The biggest danger when you're at the beach is a rip current. What you want to do is stay far away from piers and jetties, and if you're ever caught in a rip current, relax and go with the flow or swim parallel to shore and back in. Most importantly when you're out on the beach, be aware of your surroundings at all times. When in an unfamiliar environment, it's really important that you understand your surroundings. Signs and flags are there for a reason, and the Galveston Island Beach Patrol has a number to warn you of hazards. So when you come to the beach, look around and read them before you go into the water. The more you know, the safer you'll be. The lifeguards post signs near structures, at park entrances, and on the lifeguard towers. For example, there are no swimming signs near the rock jetties where dangerous rip currents are that can be harmful. Flags are an important way to let the public know what the conditions are for that day. A red flag means dangerous surf, yellow means caution, and green means it's relatively calm. Purple flag means the presence of dangerous marine life, and an orange triangle could mean that there's an environmental alert for air or water quality. Texas beaches are notoriously hot during the summer season. Usually that's not a problem, but in the dog days of summer, if you're a person who spends most of their time in an air-conditioned environment, you can be vulnerable to heat stroke or heat exhaustion. And remember, pets are susceptible as well. Remember to take precautions for heat and sun so you don't ruin a great day at the beach. Remember to cover up, wear sunscreen, and the right sunglasses. Most importantly, hydrate and watch for signs of heat illness. Then go have fun. When we're in and around the water, we're not in our natural environment. The more we understand and respect the creatures that live there, the less chance we'll have of an unpleasant encounter. Jellyfish and man can cause stings, but that's not a reason to let it ruin your day. Appropriate prompt treatment can get you back in the game quickly. Remember, shuffle your feet and thoroughly clean cuts, even small ones that you get at the beach. When you see litter on the beach, you might want to think about who it impacts other than yourself. For example, this glass bottle could cut someone's foot causing a serious injury. Here on Galveston's beaches, we've recently launched a new campaign called Clean Green Pristine, which helps prevent littering, promote recycling, and preserve the beaches for the animal life and marine life that call it home. I'd like to thank you for taking time and choosing uh, the city of Galveston to visit. One of the most important things you can do while you're here is use common sense and protect yourself and your family so that we can protect you. Where else could you have that much summertime fun as you can at the beach? It's where the girls are. It's where the guys are. Mix in a few safety tips and life doesn't get much better than this. Stay away from the jetties and piers so you avoid dangerous rip currents. Obey the warning signs and the flags. Take precautions for heat and sun. And don't dive in head first. If you hit something you can't see in the water, you're risking a spinal injury. It's feet first, first time. Swim sober and swim with a buddy. Children and non-swimmers should wear life jackets when in or around the water. Above all, keep your eyes on the water and know what is going on around you. You are in charge of your safety, but lifeguards are there to help you if something goes wrong. We want you to have a great day at the beach and you and your family to get home safe. Remember, if you can't swim, don't go in. Now you've got all the tools and info you need for a great day. Have fun, be safe. We'll see you on the beach. <laughs>